Uh, no, the road work does not end. We've been fighting phantom road work. <laughs> It's cold, Dan. Very cold. Sure, about what you want to major in. We have over 200 programs of study, and we have a couple of career development centers on campus that'll help you kind of figure out what you like. And our Union Mall is a great place to hold activities, especially in nicer weather. In the fall, we have something called um, Ready Razor Bash, or um, I think it's just the, ra the Razor Bash. But a lot of businesses in Northwest Arkansas will bring out booths and tables and set them up and give out free stuff. So there's like one day in the fall when you can just like walk through and get mail. And it's just really fun. Other things like that going out there. On nice days, people like have um I don't know what they do, but they have these like swords that are like foam, and they just they play. <laughs> it's really cool to watch. <laughs> Stuff like that is always going on. We're gonna walk towards the library. David W. Mullins Library. Um, we love to call it Club Mullins. Mullins Library, things like that. It's the second largest library in Arkansas after the Clinton Library in Little Rock. And we have several really good resources we can utilize. We have interlibrary loan, which if we don't have a book that you need in this library, you can request it from another library and they'll ship it free. You can use it and the library will ship it back. several throughout campus. I've never felt unsafe on campus. I've never had to use it. I've never heard of anyone using it, but it's nice to know that it's there in case you need it. We also have um, Safe Ride and Razorback Patrol, um, especially if you're a girl and you feel unsafe at night and you park, you have to park you know, kind of far off campus and you want to ride back up. They will pick you up wherever you are, no questions asked, and take you back to your dorm. So it's really convenient. If anything says University of Arkansas, it's Old Main. My favorite building on campus, it's just beautiful. It houses our department of, has like philosophy, criminal justice, history, um, the Fulbright College of Arts and Sciences, the dean's office is in there, and the advisors are in there for that college. Um, obviously it has your smaller classrooms, mostly honors classes in there. I had a class in there, I loved it. If you'll notice, the North Tower is taller than the South Tower, and there are some legends about that. Some people think that it's because the builder was an ex-Yankee who wanted to show that the North was still dominant but um, there's a more uh, explanation that makes more sense. Um, the smaller tower is designed to hold a clock, so they put it in the south so that the people over in Fayetteville Square could see it from where they were, so that makes a little more sense. It actually didn't have a real clock in it, it was painted on for the longest time, but I think it was President Clinton who finally suggested they put a real clock. programs except for mechanical engineering and computer sciences. Mechanical engineering actually has its own building on the other side of Jackson. So after your freshman year, if you're an engineering major and you get all your basics out of the way, you'll spend a lot of time in there. It's Daniel Farrader Hall, and that building is mostly for graduate students. It has labs in there and things like that. So you probably won't spend a lot of time in there. But the building directly behind it, connected by two skywalkways, is the science and engineering building. And you probably will have a class or two in there that has houses your um, Department of Mathematics, 
you'll have math classes or maybe like a history or science class in there. Or if you have to go to the math lab, we have math labs in there for tests and things You like have math that. labs? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now they are um, the science and history and one that holds 500 students. They're expected this to be done in the fall of 2012, so if you're coming in as a freshman in the fall, this is how it The top is actually going to be green grass, so you can actually hang out on the top of it, which cool. I'm really excited to see how that looks. Cool. There's student fees, a concert. Usually they have one once a semester. <laughs> <laughs> Three parking garages on campus. Pay for hourly parking or you can buy a parking pass for the whole year. When you buy your meal plan, you'll get a certain amount of flex dollars that you can use here, and flex dollars are really cool because it makes everything tax free. This E. Epley Junior Hall is our band building. The cool thing about this university is you don't have to be a music major to get a band scholarship or be in the band. So, this is our union. To use like a video camera or something for like a class, you have to make a video. You can rent the equipment in there. This computer looks like 24-7. For some reason you figure out you forgot to print something off, just come over here and put it off for class. There's another coffee shop, a TV lounge. We have our multicultural center over there. Down the stairs we have our, I guess our student food court. It has Chick-fil-A, Burger King, a walk, a sub bar, pizza bar. And after 5 a.m. Also, we have a little mini bed with me on. So, you need something for your dorm room, just come here and get it. We have a post office, a florist, a lot of stuff in the union. And I think that's about it. Anybody have any questions? I haven't ridden a bike in years. Or you could rollerblade. All that power walking around NAC is really going to help. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone's like, you're not out of breath. No, no, no. I love the emergency sign that we came on. We've got to show that to Crystal. Oh my God. Good morning. I was like, my little pony. Hey Dan, you could totally get these. <laughs>